Hello, you little monsters. This little monster girl, Desi, coming at ya. And today I got a brand new monster bite for you guys to bring in the holiday season. So I hope you all have been good this year, because today we'll be talking about the Shadow of St. Nicholas. So, let's get started. I hope all you little monsters have been good this year, because getting coal in your stocking is definitely going to be the least of your worries when we talk about today's monster known as the Krumpus. According to my sister, the Krumpus was actually pretty hard to research, considering how many different origins as well as variations there are about him. But in most tales, the Krumpus is described as being a devil and goat hybrid. Either being covered in black or brown fur, he has long horns, sharp fangs, and a tongue that rolls out every time he grins his wicked grin. With cloven hooves and a bundle of birch branches in hand, the Krumpus will stalk Christmas night looking for naughty children to abduct. And for dramatic effect, he'll rattle his chains and bells to warn them that he's on his way. However, what he does to these naughty children, well, nobody's quite sure on exactly what he does. But the most popular idea is that he'll abduct naughty children and eat them. Though some say he'll just beat them with the birch branches. Or maybe he'll drag particularly evil children down to hell with him. But in spite of this, there's actually a traditional parade known as the Compass Run. Not only that, but the Krumpus even has his own greeting cards. Which, to me, was pretty surprising when I found out about it. Though this is most popular in places like Austria, Hungary, and... Uh, Northern Italy, apparently. I'd list all the countries, but then we'll be here for 20 minutes with me trying to pronounce them. A few fun facts about the Krumpus is that he's actually been theorized to be a pagan god known as the Horn God of Witches. And that the birch branch bundle that he carries around, try saying that seven times fast, might actually have something to do with a witch coven initiation, though this is only for some covens, so don't ask me. That's probably a topic for a different video. And while Santa gets milk and cookies on Christmas night, it's actually been customary to offer the Krumpus some very fruity brandy. So, I guess he enjoys drinking. Though, who doesn't on Christmas night? In some parts of Europe, it's actually there's actually a celebration known as the Feast of St. Nicholas, which is celebrated on December 6th. However, the day before, on Krumpus night, which is on December 5th, the wicked hairy devil appears on the streets, sometimes accompanying St. Nicholas and sometimes on his own. The Krumpus will visit homes and businesses, and while Santa Claus only concerns himself with good children, the Krumpus, however, only concerns himself with bad. And apparently he supplies the coal to them, which is definitely a step up from getting kidnapped and eaten, if you ask me. And while I've already mentioned that the Krumpus shows up on greeting cards, he's actually been showing up on them since the 1800s. In most modern versions nowadays, he sometimes shows up as being an extremely cutesy, cherub-like creature. Which is pretty odd when you think about it. And he even shows up on candy containers, too. Though most old-fashioned cards often show him as being extremely threatening looking as he looms over children. Though it's sometimes accompanied by humor <laughs> humorous rhymes and poems. And honestly, I think I prefer the more frightening version, because I guess a cutesy version would probably be scary for different reasons. As fun as some of the European Krumpus traditions can be, it was actually prohibited at one point in 1923. But that didn't last very long, considering that even nowadays, in Austria, it's often celebrated. And is even accompanied by artistic, traditional, hand-carved masks. Which are actually pretty cool when you look up the pictures of them. And costume characters are a definitely essential part of any compass tradition. Did I say compass or compass? Ah well. Though these characters often include Krumpus himself, St. Nicholas, a woodsman, angels, and an old woman. Huh. Since the Krumpus is half goat and half demon, costumes are usually of fursuits, horns, devil masks, and hooves. 
Though you can definitely find plenty of videos on YouTube about making such costumes. And they're definitely cool to watch. And as much as I would like to keep talking about him, I'm actually starting to develop a cold considering absolutely everybody in my house is pretty much just passing it around. So, I'll end this conversation here for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I actually had to redraw this one because my first attempt, it did not turn out right. It probably looked like a cutesy version of... Did you guys enjoy the video? If you liked it, please like, share, or subscribe if you haven't already, and become a little monster. Oh, and if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. It's already been suggested to me that I should read aloud scary stories, and I think that's a good idea. Though, I think reading aloud creepypastas would suit my channel a lot better. What do you guys think? Oh, and before I forget, I put this drawing up on Rebubble for a holiday design, so please check that out if you want to. And with all that said and done, I'll see all you jelly beans in the next video. Bye!